what's up guys everybody knows me as zuma but uh today i'm going to show you what i do in my nine to five job okay and uh, that's a maintenance tech in a hotel could be easy could be hard sometimes but let's see how it goes so i'm gonna show you a day in the life here we go all right guys we're here in the shop so basically what i do when i start my day first of all it's saturday um, usually here in the hotel on Saturdays, it gets pretty busy, you know, um, it's Saturday morning, nine o'clock in the morning. I usually, I'm here till nine to five thirty. That's my shift. Um, so what I like to do in the morning is go over the work orders, what happened last night or whatever the case may be, and try to straighten out the shop a little bit. That way it won't get so crazy. Like for instance, look, look it's just a mess. So I got to straighten all that from yesterday out. And, um, and we'll start with the work order. I think our first work order here, they complained last night at 10 o'clock at night, room 310, water's leaking into 210. Hey, Nance. Hello, maintenance. Come in. in. Hey, Nance. Hello? Hello, maintenance. Oh, boy. Look at this. We got a disaster here. Look at this. Maybe they try to clean them themselves. Toilet overflowed. Looks like the toilet overflowed. Try to plunge it themselves, I think. Alright. The toilet was clogged up. That's last night he tried cleaning himself. So that caused a leak. My housekeeper come in and fix this up here. My flush fish is flushing good. I'll give it one more time here, see what happens. <laughs> guys we got a call uh they said that a lamp is blinking so when that happens it's either three things it's either it's not connected right on the wall or it needs a new bulb or the wire is bad so let's take a look let's see so this is the lamp they're talking about let's turn her on and see what happens yeah it's definitely blinking Let's check the connections in the back. See that? That's called tech in here. All right, so these are the connections in the back. This blue one is for the, for the fridge. Black box is for the cable. So this gold one is for the lamp. So let's see if it's connected properly here. And she is proper, properly. What we're gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and put a new bulb. Okay, took out the old bulb. Let's put in the new one, see what we got. Also, we just got a, when I cut the video off, we got a call about somebody needs a refrigerator, the room didn't have a fridge, and she's been calling from last night. So we're gonna go take care of that. So let's check this out. No more blinky. All right, guys. So one of the guests wanted a microwave and a refrigerator. Um, I don't have any in stock or brand new ones, so I gotta take it off of off market room. This room is off market. So we're just gonna give it a, a nice spit shine. I got my dolly there. And we'll give it a nice spit shine and we'll take it to the guest. See you in a little bit. Yep. Fourth floor. Oh yeah. Well, it's installed successfully. On to the next one. Alright guys, as you can see, I put an out of order sign on this on this stool here because this toilet 
it just constantly keeps running and water will always comes out. So my, I think my, uh, my guess, it could be, uh, what's the name of it? The thermal flush, if I'm not mistaken. I forgot the, the quote, uh, the name of it. But the part that goes in here, it's either probably dirty, that little screw, or... <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I cut off the video because somebody came in the bathroom like they really needed to go and they caught me talking in there. And one guy on the camera, one guy wants to use the bathroom. Kind of awkward, you know what I'm saying? So, well, like I was saying, I took it, um, it's out of order because um, I don't know the correct terminology for it, but the piece that goes in that in that part right there, um, we don't have it here in stock. It's Saturday, I have to order it. And um, so hopefully it'll be here by Monday. Um, if I make another video, I'll show you how to replace that. It's very, very easy, simple to do. Okay, we got a call at the towel hook from the door here in the bathroom. They ripped it off, it right here. So, what I'm gonna do for now, since every somebody's staying here right now, so I can't paint and all that. I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna silicone the holes, make new holes, and we'll move on. I'm gonna do, put a little silicone. And silicone just fill to, just to fill up the holes. Of course, it's dried out. You know how that is. Sorry about the drill being in the way. Clock this clock. There we go. Fill in the holes here. Right there. Right there. Like this. We'll put it in the hole. Got this flat paper. Anything. I don't have a, a squeegee right now, so anything. This will do. This will do just fine. Then we just throw it away when we're done. Mm -hmm. There we go. Let's fill that up so it won't look so ugly. Then I'll take this off. Take this off. And we'll put in the we'll put in the new in a new place. There we go. Beautiful. I'll we'll grab this. Put it right there. Grab the old skinny screwdriver. I know it's long as hell, but this is the only one I had in the cart right now, so it will do. She'll do. She'll do for now. All right, nice and secure there. Then when they check out, they give it a nice paint job. That's it. There you go. Back up and running. We got corn for this one here. Uh, sick as clock. So let's see. Let's see how clock it is. I mean, there's residue everywhere, so it is pretty clogged. You see it right there, it's backing up. All right, we'll get it going. Let's see, first thing we'll do, we'll take this cap off. It's very easy, it just screws off. And oh boy, look at that. Look at that beautiful surprise right there. So I got this guy here. I mean, you know, it does the work. I know it's not the best tool in the world, but it does the work. I mean, look at this, you know? It just literally scoops everything up. So this is the why you wear gloves, guys, right here. This is why. This is why, look at this. You see that? It went down right away. So we just take the wig off. We'll take the beautiful wig off first. And the smell, I wish you guys had smell of vision so this is what I took out so far with this guy right here. I know a lot of a lot of you guys use different things, 
but I kind of like this. You know what I mean? I like I like this one. It, it grabs it pretty good, as you can see. In one shot, it grabbed all that that beautiful wave right there. Somebody left the wave. Let's see if there's any more here. Okay, well this way. Let's see if there's any more surprises in here. Not a lot left, but it's enough. You know, you run the hot water. It's a beautiful surprise. A lot of people love surprises. But we get we get some nasty surprises. I've seen worse. I've seen worse rigs than that. But more surprises. That's the ponytail, the wig. <laughs> All right, she's going down pretty good. Not too bad. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, don't get excited. It's exciting stuff right here. Look at this. Ah, you were hiding from me, my friend. Look how beautiful that one is. In the words of Steve Lab, why do you wear gloves? You gotta wear gloves, man. You nasty ass shit. We love it. We got you all. What you do is just run the hot water for a little while. Let all that shit loosen up in there. But see, more is coming out. That's why I like this. You can find this at Home Depot. It's not the greatest tool in the world, but for what we do over here, it works good, you know? So, there you go, nothing else is coming out. So what I like to do is, what I like to do is, put a little drain on. A little plumber's, uh, this one is the one we use. You know, even though it's draining, but you still wanna, you know, get all that shit that you didn't get before. So we'll put some, I'm not gonna put the whole bottom, I'm just gonna put a little bit. Right there should do it. Put it on the toilet. And off to the fish in the bowl. Put the thing around the toilet, I mean the sink. And you're good to go. That's it. And that was the last one guys. So I hope everybody liked the first video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want more videos like this for hotel maintenance, just uh, like the video, subscribe, and you know all the fun stuff to do, all right? Hotel maintenance, Zuma. I'm out. Have a good one.